Question five is all about six shapes drawn on a square grid. And we've got to write the letters of all the shapes that are squares. So we're only interested in writing down the squares on this answer line. Now I have written a few notes down the side that we might want to revise at this point to help us with this question. Okay, you can read those, you can pause the video and read those at your own leisure. So, which ones are squares then? Well, a square has got to have four equal sides. Okay, now they've all got four sides except for shape F, which has actually got five sides. So shape F can't be a square. And if you, if you want to know what that one is, that one has got five sides and it's just a pentagon. It's actually an irregular pentagon because not all the sides are the same. Okay, so that rules out shape F. Now, what else can we say? Well, it's got a four equal sides and it's got a four right angles. So which ones have got right angles? Well, shape D, all the sides are equal and it's got four right angles. So that's definitely a square. So we can write D on there. Shape A has got four right angles in the corner. Just because shape A is rotated round, it does not mean it can't be a square. One way to check for the right angles is to get a piece of A4 paper and pop it into the corner. And if the piece of A4 paper, the angle on the piece of A4 paper fits in that corner, then you know it's got to be a right angle because A4 paper has right angles in the corner. If you try that on shape E, it will also work and you will find right angles in the corners. So shape A looks like a square, four right angles, four equal sides. So shape A works, and shape E has four right angles and four equal sides. You've got to be really, really careful that you don't just think that shape D is the only one, because it's upright. Shape A and E are also squares, even though they've been rotated round. And that's it. B and C are not squares. Now, if you want to go a little bit further and you want to actually understand what shape B and C are, then we need to read these other notes on here. Okay. Shape B, does it have equal sides? Well, at first sight, it might look like it. But actually, if you check with a ruler, you will realize that the top and bottom sides are equal, but they are slightly shorter than the left and right. So the left and right are equal but they are actually a little bit longer, even if it's only by a couple of millimetres. Okay, so we've got a pair of shorter sides, top and bottom, and a pair of longer sides, left and right. So what we've actually got is we've got two pairs of equal sides. We've also got two pairs of parallel sides, top and bottom are parallel, left and right are parallel. So we've actually got a wonky rectangle. So a wonky rectangle is a parallelogram. So shape B is a parallelogram. What about shape C? Well, shape C, if you measure the sides with a ruler, you will, you will notice that they are indeed equal. So there are four equal sides. So that's something that shape C has got in common with the square. It's got four equal sides. But remember, a square has got to have four right angles. And you can see that shape C does not have four right angles. Okay. So, what we're dealing with here is like a wonky square. Okay, we've got two acute angles, top and bottom, and two obtuse angles, left and right. And a wonky square is like a rhombus. Some people think of it as being like a diamond from a pack of cards. But the correct mathematical name for it isn't a diamond, it's a rhombus. Okay, so four equal sides, but no right angles, means it's got to be like a wonky square, which correct name for it is a rhombus and that's the question finished